Hello and welcome to Heroes of History episode 3 Dorset. So, so due to a technical difficulty where I just had to fix my email due to it asked me if I was still the right correct person and I still am the same person on my computer. I'm not going to tell you my password, that's just bad safeguarding. So we move on to the south due to otherwise the, this is, was created just to make the South East have fewer counties in because I didn't want a massive twi two Twitter polls instead of the necessary. So I hope you're all okay with that and I'll actually really get onto the main pits of this video. The first person on our list for Dorset was Mary Annings. If you've not heard of it, please put your name in the com please put your name on the Twitter poll because I would like to humiliate anyone in the next episode. Born, she was born to a poor family and discovered the, she discovered the plesiosaur and whatever dinosaur it begins with. I, first one to tell me, will get two votes instead of one vote. Her place of birth was Lyme Regis, where it is only satisfying because we live about an hour down the road. We play chicken and get roly poly fudge. Now, on to the second person. William Henry Fox Talbot, otherwise known as Henry Fox Talbot, otherwise known as William Talbot. There's about 10 bajillion different nicknames people call him. I didn't put that in my script, but I'm just guessing it is. He was educated at Harrow, Harrow School, which is in London, if you're wondering where Harrow School is, because Harrow is, a, Harrow is an area in London. He was born in 1800 exactly, not 1799 and not 1801, and invented the calotype. If you've not heard of this man, you're probably you're probably as idiotic as anyone who's not heard of Mary Annings. He had the Nobel Prize nomination eleven times. Buried, he was buried in Westminster Abbey, which is also in London, in Westminster. Hence the name Westminster Abbey. Probably isn't in Westminster, but I don't know where exactly. I will not. I probably. And was born to his father with the same name. He was a writer. His first name began with T. He's Thomas Hardy. Robert Newton, who is a film actor and one of the more popular ones in the 1940s and 50s, who was a male juvenile. He was also in the Navy and around the world in 80 days, which is my my second favourite, which is my favourite film, so in which was the 1956 version. Serena Scott Thomas, who was an actor. She's not related to Christian Scott Thomas because don't put that in the Twitter. If you do, I will automatically dismiss your vote off the poll. And her films were Diana, Her True Story in 1993, The World Is Not Enough, 99, Hostage, 2005, Revel, 2008, and Inherit Vice, 2014. So, those are the five heroes. We will get the Twitter poll out as ASAP. But, I'm sure you're wondering who the winner is. Now, there have been more technical difficulties with this, and I'm not going to go into the full details. But I think it's safe to say, if you voted... For a sir that eliminates Robert Scott and Tom Daly, who was an explorer that eliminates Agatha Christie and Sir Walter Raleigh. Francis Drake, who was one of the first people to sail around the world, ultimately took the take. And so we'll be back in the southwest with Somerset and we'll be back in the south central with the all of White and Hampshire, I'm just combining both of them. Thank you for watching. Hope you like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the Twitter poll afterwards or email me. I won't tell you my email address because most of you already know it. Thank you for watching once more. Goodbye from me and goodbye from the camera lady, Emily Yavari.